back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a version of the try a story tag, which I really like doing. It just gets me excited about the books again and makes me want to read them and some of these are books that I've owned for a while and some of them are slightly newer so I'm really excited to do this. Again I am doing this as an anthology short story trial thing so it's not a collection by the same author there are various different authors within but I'm just going to read the first story from each of these collections or anthologies and see which one appeals to me most and whether I want to continue with any of them. I will show you the five books that I am planning to try a short story from and then I'll react to each of them as I go and tell you what I thought of it and you guys can help me down in the comments let me know which one you want me to read, which one appeals to you, which one would you pick up, all of those things please do let me know. The books I'm going to be trialling are Strange Tales from the Scriptorian Vaults, a collection of steampunk short stories edited by Sammy H.K. Smith. Next up I have a collection of fairy tales, Stories of the Grim and Gruesome edited by Stephen Jones and illustrated by Alan Lee which is great, I love illustrated stuff, very nice, very creepy. Um, it sounds like this is going to be a kind of fun creepy one we'll see. The next one is one I'm so excited about which is Invisible Planets. It's a collection of Chinese science fiction and fantasy stories which have all been translated by Ken Liu and I'm really excited about this because I believe there are some Hugo winning stories in here and also some pretty awesome general stories that I've heard great things about and some authors I've never heard of and I really want to give a go so definitely an exciting collection. I'm I'm so excited for this. I hope it's good. Another steampunky one, but this one's a bigger collection, is Resurrection Engines, 15 Extraordinary Tales of Scientific Romance, edited by Scott Harrison. And I don't think I know many of the authors in this one, so it'll be interesting to sort of discover some of them. In fact, I'm not sure I know any of them. Oh no, Juliet McKenna. I've heard of her no one else. And the final one I have is Meeting Infinity which is edited by Jonathan Strahan and this is various different science fiction stories. Let's get started. I will report back when I have read the first story from each. So I just read the first story in Meeting Infinity which is by James S. A. Corey and it's called Rates of Change. It's a story that is science fiction, it's focused on a young mother and her son and her estranged husband um, and her son's been in a terrible accident. We never really know what that is but something terrible has happened to him to the extent where his body no longer functions. But we are in a time where we have science that is crazy cool and you can be taken out of your body and you can kind of integrate into a new body and that's fairly common practice. It seems like it raises more questions than it answers in what would happen if this was real? What would happen if we had to go out of our bodies and adapt to a new body? Would we feel okay? Would we feel happy in that? Or would we feel like we were missing something, like we were deprived of something? It's definitely an interesting theory and question. So a good start to this collection. So I just read the first story in Resurrection Engines, which is The Soul Eaters of Ravelo by Alison Littlewood. It's a story about a mechanical man, and it seems as though most of the people in this world are mechanical and he is an inventor. He invents various things including mechanical birds who can fly around and have a real personality and eventually one day he's getting very old and the townspeople are not really buying his stuff anymore and his most treasured jewels have been stolen and he goes out for a walk and he's sad and he finds a young twisted mechanical girl who has been tossed into a pit and left there to die or wither away, whatever it is that they do in this world. And he takes her home and he decides that he is going to mend her broken body and help her to become something. He's doing it mainly out of a distraction um, but actually he falls in love with her as, as though she is his daughter and she takes care of him and he takes care of her 
and then things start to get messy. I definitely enjoy steampunk stories, I just think they're really cool, um, so I enjoyed this for sure. So I just read the first story in Invisible Planets which is by Chen Kui Fan and it's called The Year of the Rat. It was definitely a bit of a crazy story but a really interesting one. It's set in a world where these giant rodent rats have been genetically modified and engineered and somehow they've got out of control and they've essentially taken over parts of this world and it's not great for the people living there so anyone who has not really done that well at education can't get a job after university they're being put to work as rat catchers and killers the rats which have very very intelligent life forms they can do things that normal rats would never be able to do and is a really kind of creepy but interesting story about sort of genetic modification and what a new race would mean um, a new rat race would mean for the world and yeah it's a really interesting very bizarre kind of story um i liked it but it was creepy i would not like to live in a world with like horrible rats that could fight back that would be pretty dark and horrible so i just read the first retelling in this collection which was a retelling of rumpelstiltskin it was by ramsey campbell and it's called find my name it's a modern day setting of rumpelstiltskin it's about a young boy who is just about to turn one in a few days time and his grandma is looking after him because his mother and father are away his father abused him and his mother's died um, so she's looking after him and this young boy keeps on telling her about this creepy man who comes to him at night and she's a little bit like oh dear this doesn't sound good so she's unsure who it is and eventually this man starts to visit her and starts to threaten that he's going to take away her grandson so she starts to try and come up with his name much like the original Rumpelstiltskin. I didn't really like this story very much I just felt like it was a bit it was trying to be creepy and it just didn't really pull it off. I felt like it could have been a lot creepier or it could have been more magical than it was and it wasn't really either of those things. It didn't quite hit the nail on the head for me. Okay, so I just read the final story or the first one in this collection which is Strange Tales from the Scriptorian Vaults. The story is called Grace of Women and it's by Zoe Harris. This is quite an interesting collection which I didn't realise when I started reading it but I did as I went further in. It's actually a collection of different stories that are all kind of connected by the idea of this other world of London, this alternate London and the scriptoriums. Who people who go around chronicling various events in this world so it's a pretty interesting concept and this story was dark I would say it was pretty dark um, it's about a young inventor lady who is trying to figure out a way of stopping women from having to go through childbirth and bearing children she is absolutely disgusted by the idea that women should have to suffer for men's lust she does not believe in women agreeing to have children she just thinks it's like a horrible horrible thing that men do to women and so she's absolutely infatuated with the idea of curing this she wants to figure out how to make life so that women do not have to go through creating it themselves it was definitely a fun story in a dark twisted way definitely different from what I expected but in a good way I liked that it was dealing with a subject I hadn't really thought too much about and it was yeah it was cool Let's go back over the ones I've read and see which one I think, or ones I think I might read. And I'd love to hear your comments down below, which ones you think I should read. So I definitely like this collection. And I really like these two as well. I think they were both really interesting for very different reasons. Which one do you think sounds the most intriguing? Let me know down below. Thank you all for watching and I will probably do this again sometime soon because I really enjoy doing it and it definitely does get me more excited to read these collections. I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.